We are testing uh, according to the CDC guidelines uh, right now. If in and main main reason for that is um, we we just have a limited number of tests uh, that that we've been allocated. Dr. Doug Schultz says the government is working on getting more tests, faster tests, and is expecting them soon. But right now there are just not enough to test everyone, so they have to save them for the people who need them most. But the the problem right now is there's just not that many, so you have to save for the sickest people to be tested and the highest risk people to be tested. At this point, only three of the 10 patients who have tested positive for coronavirus are hospitalized. The rest are at home under quarantine, and the doctor says they're doing all right. Shannon started a care at home program where we monitor the, and check in with these people every day that we are, are under quarantine to make sure they're okay and uh, don't need to be hospitalized. So that's, that's working out really good so far. When it comes to where the tests are sent, it depends on the lab availability. There are multiple labs that can perform these tests, but some have a quicker turnaround than others. But Shannon may soon get in-house testing, and that will resolve some issues. We should have that soon, and we can run the test right, right here. Uh, probably in the next few weeks, we'll have that. Dr. Schultz says keep washing your hands and practicing social distancing. These are the main things that can help stop the spread of the virus. Reporting in San Angelo, I'm Sonora Scott.